Don't save another dollar. Find money that's rightfully yours. You may not know it, but most of you likely have money that's rightfully yours, but is missing from your account. Money from mishandled taxes and money that's yours because every year states receive lost and unclaimed money, property or other assets that get swept under the rug. Here's the best part though, you can get that money back. I have three big things to share with you. See, I've moved offices three times in the last 20 years. Suddenly companies mailed checks and they didn't get forwarded. I started my career as a financial advisor and insurance salesman. This meant I did business with lots of companies and didn't always remember to change and update my address. I went to my cash.utah.gov and put in my last name and hit search. In April of 2015, I found $127.50. May of 2016, $134.20. And August of 2019, I found 60 bucks. And pending now is $95.78 that we just sent in info for. Now, this isn't game changing. This isn't money that's gonna absolutely you know, rock your world, but it's a nice bonus that's easy to get back. So let me break this down into three simple parts for you. Number one, go to missingmoney.com or find the specific site for your state, enter your name or business name, and then click search. You'll see examples of amounts and possible claims. Click on the ones that apply to you and send in the information required. Hardest part for me was finding my social security card. My mom had it in her freezer. That's definitely the best place for us to keep, keep critical documents, right? <laughs> so, two, retirement accounts. Do you have duplicate coverages? Do you have the wrong structure? Or even unnecessary outdated policies? Let's find out. First off, do you have a good tax team? Do you meet with them multiple times a year? Do you need support? Grab a resource on me at wealthfactory.com forward slash tax. It'll give you good questions you can ask and find out about different tax strategies that you consider. If you want to know about your investments or insurance, answer a few questions. Go to wealthfactory.com forward slash strength and you'll be able to find out are there areas that you've got missing pieces or you've got improper structure or where you just haven't paid attention and that if you pay attention, you can plug those leaks. See, it's a great resource that shows you where you're set or not set in the areas of your finances. Now, these are complimentary, but I'll have to tell you, that you'll enter your information and that means that Wealth Factory every now and again is gonna send you emails. Sometimes it's just articles and living wealthy insights or videos that I do. Other times they might have an offer that they're saying, hey, would you like more support? I just wanna be really transparent here and say, yes, you're giving your information for great resources. We're trying to build a bridge and a relationship and if it sounds good to you, then maybe we work together. So there's definitely bigger amounts likely slipping through your fingers right now. That's the taxes, that's interest. That's hidden fees or commissions that absolutely rob you of your financial wealth. So I'm gonna break this down, it's four I's. IRS, and that's, I'm saying that in you know United States, but any of your Canada Revenue Service or wherever you're at, second is interest, third is investments, and fourth is insurance. Those are the four I's where a lot of people are losing or, or leaking money, and we wanna put that back in your life. The third thing really comes down to, are you living up to your potential? There's something about trying to invest money. That can feel very complicated at times, but there's this formula. Why don't you look to make more first? As you make more money, make sure you're keeping more of what you make with the four I's that I just shared, and then learn how to invest and allocate that money appropriately. If you have a really mediocre income your whole life, yes, you can cut back and scrimp, and maybe over the long haul might, might end up with some money. But if you can make more first and then keep more of what you make, we found, and what would the Rockefellers do, this research, that just by plugging the leaks, you'd have to like get three and a half times higher return on most retirement accounts simply because there's a lot of money slipping through the cracks. So if you wanna make more and you're not quite sure what to do, here's some examples that can get you started. Let's say you own a car. You wanna make more money with it? Check out the app Turo. Go to Turo.com. You know, I have a client that's been renting out their car and making cash. I was just talking to someone that when they were traveling to Utah and they go on their ski trips, they always just use Turo.com and they just paid $450 for the last rental they had. That's probably more than the person's payment if they financed it. Do you have a basement? I live in Utah, a lot of people have basements, or even a, a free room. Or maybe during really peak times where you live in areas where there's big events. In Austin, you got South by Southwest and Austin City Limits. Or if you're in South Dakota, you know, you got the big biker rally that comes through with Sturgis. So maybe that's a time where you can rent out, even if it's a house or a room. In Utah, we got Sundance. People can rent out and you can use Airbnb and make extra money. The good news is if you only do that 14 days a year, there's no tax on that income that comes in. That's a bigger bonus. You can even approach landlords and pay their rent using Airbnb and then split the profits above and beyond 
to increase cash flow. We've had clients at Wealth Factory that weren't cash flowing their properties by having a renter in there. Once that contract was up, we had them start using Airbnb and more frequently putting people in there and they could charge more per, you know, per day. Some days will be vacant, but that improved them to be in a positive cash flow situation just by knowing what they can do to make more money. Even better, where do you have abilities and skills that you can bring value in the marketplace? There's so many apps out there. There's so many marketplaces thanks to the internet. It doesn't matter as much where you live or what your age is for that matter. So you could even go if you're working in an organization and become an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone that knows how they can add to a firm's bottom line and participate in the upside. Being a business owner can be difficult. There could be anything from cash flow crunches and capital calls and lawsuits and employee turnover and embezzlement. Like there's a myriad of problems that can happen. But if you don't want to be a business owner, but you want to have upside potential without that downside risk, that's the entrepreneur's way. Have the conversations, look in the organization. I think about Dell Clark coming to me and saying, hey, cash flow optimization is something that could really benefit Wealth Factory clients. So he told me what it was, we integrated it, and he actually got paid on everyone that went through it, even though he didn't own Wealth Factory as the firm. He got to participate in the upside. So I look at my own team. When they book me on a stage, right? I do a lot of speaking. They get a percentage for booking that. So that's a huge incentive for them that's above and beyond what they get paid as a salary. When they create an initiative that didn't exist before, they get an even bigger percentage because they're looking for ways to create solutions. They're looking for ways to solve problems. Maybe we don't even know those exist, but they have a unique vantage point. What we're looking to do is get people to collaborate and work together. Not that one person makes all the money and everybody else just trades their time for that money. You don't have to be an entrepreneur to be entrepreneurial. You don't have to have a lot of money to make money. You simply have to know how to add value. You have to see ways that you can solve problems. You didn't know it, but you most likely have money that's rightfully yours. It's just missing from your account. Money from mishandled taxes and missing assets just waiting for you to claim them. This money is rightfully yours. Keep more of what you make. Find cash that is yours and put it back where it belongs. Get educated about your taxes and make even more by adding more value. Now you have the knowledge to transform your thoughts into profits and build the life you love. Looking for more on this topic? Check out my video on the five myths of wealth inequality in America. In the next video, you'll learn how there's more wealth now than ever in any other time of history and how you can get past the things that hold you back so you can have even more. I'll see you there.